We are at LA Superior Courthouse in Van Nuys, and right over here, you see the Sally Port. That is where arrestees and in custodies are brought into the courthouse. And this is where Lois Goodwin was brought in in handcuffs when she was accused and under arrest. We want to show you some pictures of what happened that year uh, in 2012. At the time, she was 70 years old. She had a prestigious job officiating major matches for the U.S. Tennis Association. Then she was arrested in New York City just as she was about to board her shuttle to the U.S. Open where she was set to umpire. She was arrested because several months after the death of her husband, Alan Goodman, the L.A. County coroner issued a report saying that the husband's death was a homicide, that Lois Goodman had killed him with a heavy coffee mug. That charge was later dismissed for lack of evidence. Now Goodman is going after the coroner, claiming that he recklessly or intentionally falsified the autopsy report, leading to her false arrest and now her greater financial and emotional hardship. Well, I miss him. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> Sorry. I, I make very little money. And I'm trying to umpire as much as I can. I've lost at least half of the jobs that I had before. And uh, I depend on my Social Security. That's not the lady that killed her husband. That's an innocent grandmother who was railroaded and ruined, and we want reparations. Goodman says that she had been a highly regarded umpire in her field, but after her name was scandalized, jobs just dried up. The trial is set to take place downtown in federal court, downtown Los Angeles. There will be 40 witnesses presented by Goodman's side, the plaintiffs, and she will be one of the witnesses in her own case.